It's Mouse. Today I'm going to talk about Inception. I am making a video today to talk about my Hamptons Handcrafted Lightsaber Inception. It was custom made for my Starforge Brevin, which is the light side version of Brevin. I did an unboxing for it last year and um, I debuted it last year at Megacon. So ever since Inception, ever since I did that unboxing, I've had a lot of comments and questions about the lightsaber. Uh, most people like it, which is obvious because it's pretty awesome. I have had a lot of questions about how... Can you shut up, please? How comfortable is the hilt exactly? Thank you. Right. Anyway. I'm going to show it to you. And bonus! I'm going to show it with a dark side blade. Here's my baby! This is Inception which I did not name, thank you very much. This was named by Ken. I would have named it Starforged because it makes more sense. I didn't realize I had the power to name my hilt at the time. I have named my future hilt, which is Betrayal, because it's pretty obvious. I'm doing Dark Side Atreus. Her whole hang up with Mitra is about betrayal and then, you know, Kraya, there must always be a Darth Treya. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. A lot of questions that I get are, how is that thing comfortable? Look at all those stupid ridges on it. Oh my god, your hand. It's really not that bad, guys. I mean, it does look a little daunting. It looks painful. It looks horrifying. But even with my tiny little girl hands, I have a good grip. It's not really, you know, that bad. Um, it's designed to be a one-handed saber because I dual wield in my light side Revan costume. It is not meant to be held this way, which I can I can totally see why someone would be like, what the hell? But no, it is meant to be held here and I have a good grip. It's really not that bad at all. But the other thing that I usually am asked is, what does Inception look like with a red blade? So I actually have a red blade now. I did not before because as mentioned, it was for a light side cosplay. However, I asked Ken if I could have my Atris blade before the lightsaber was finished so I could do my Christmas themed ribbon for holiday mensary. It's a light side hilt technically, but the thing, this thing looks pretty devious. So it looks, it's pretty sick. This is actually a red shell white core, which gives it kind of an orangey look. Who cares about me talking? You just want to see this, right? So. <laughs> I always crack me up. Totally badass, orangey, fiery glow. It's not a perfect red by any means. Kind of clashed with my Christmas plans, but that's okay because I really love this orange. One of the things I like about it the most is that dark kind of outline. I am asking Ken for a red shell, red core saber for um, Atris actually because it has a more natural red. Um, it's a lot brighter. This is not as bright uh, due to um, I don't know physics. Really light. Yeah, you can swing it around. It's not too bad. This will be the hilt and blade that I will have for my debut of Dark Side Atris at MegaCon, unfortunately. But, I mean, it's not that unfortunate because look how awesome. So, that I hate, but it has some cool effects here. I'm going to be trying to do videos a lot more often. As I've mentioned, I think, in another one of my videos, who knows, who watches them anyway. I'm trying to do a schedule. Uh, I want to do first Monday of every month. It's going to be Music Monday. Ah. I'm going to try to put out a music, either a video or um, probably just some music and a picture because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm going to start with songs I've already finished because I'm the worst musician in the world and it takes me forever to write a new song. So I'm going to try and give myself a little bit of time to create something. I'm trying to do a cosplay related video every Saturday, whether that's a tutorial or watch me paint <laughs> or my lightsaber. I'm trying to um, 
get up the guts to talk in a vlog style manner. I guess when I go to a convention, it's usually kind of difficult because in every cosplay I've ever had, I've had both my hands full. So next cosplay is not much different. Both my hands are gonna be full. So it's gonna be kind of hard to walk around with the camera, but try to figure it out. Last week of every month, I'm gonna do an arcade block unboxing because um, it's kind of fun. People seem to like my unboxing videos. People seem to like unboxing videos, period. So I will do that. I can't promise the specific day that will be available because you know you can't really plan the mail. But when it comes, I'll do the video. It'll go out. Make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with that. Fridays, I am trying to either do a game clip related video, whether it's um, my hilarious friend Adam when he gets drunk in Destiny or um, playing another game. It'll either be a video or I'm going to try to regularly stream because I've only been saying I'm going to do that again for like two years. It was a lot easier when I was playing World of Warcraft because I had no life. <laughs> for one, I had a very strict schedule and I also had nine other people to talk to. So it's a little awkward when you're just sitting there and people are watching you play a game and you have really nothing to say to them. But I'm going to try to make it work. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> or you check out my other cosplay related videos, which uh, they're like handfuls. Don't don't actually bother with that. Um, music, woo! or the video game stuff, which is also not very cultivated yet. But um, subscribe definitely. Ah, woo! Subscribe. Follow me on Facebook for all of the cool costume related updates, of which I am trying to do more costumes per year instead of one every two and a half years. <laughs> That'll be in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching my video and may the force be with you. <laughs>